All right, here is a quick video on how to manipulate um, the pool table file. Okay, so first thing we'll do is you'll see that you can hit the select and mesh mixer. You can uh, change the size. You can double click on something. You click off it. Okay, but they're individual elements. Okay, so the pool table for the pool stick for one. If you want to double click on that and you go and you hit X, okay, you can make that disappear. And you can same thing with any of these, okay? So any of the elements you can individually make them disappear, uh, just like this. Okay, one at a time. Uh, now, if you want the balls to be all around and scattered about or whatnot, your best bet, what you're going to do, is you are going to duplicate uh, your, uh, let's see, show object browser. So under file here, there's the uh, object browser, okay? So I, it was hide before, now it's, or it said show before, now it says hide because I got it out there. Uh, with it out there, you can go over to, let's see here bring that up down here at the bottom is a duplicate you can duplicate it it'll make a copy okay you can turn off the original and then use your select and you can delete or uh, what is it X yeah or delete works too uh, you can delete uh, everything but the balls if you wanted okay and you when you turn this other one on with uh, this guy still selected, you can go edit, transform, and you can move these balls around. They can then you can turn them, rotate them. You can do whatever you want. You can uh, just have one or all of them. But what you do is go back to the original, and you can delete. You can select. By double clicking on it, it selects the whole entity. So you go through and you select them all and hit X or delete and it will delete them out. So anyways, and then at the end of it, you hold down shift. I got to put down the phone here, but you can hold down shift and select both of these. Uh, obviously these would be deleted or whatnot. And then you go over here to export. Okay and then you can export the STL file as one new entity and that is how you manipulate the pool table file